Hello, this is Gerd Olsen from Gotholm Soap. Today I will make a soap with clays as color. I have a pink cosmetics clay, red clay, green clay, and Phyllis Earth clay. And I will use essential oils and I will use lavender or lavender and my shank. So here we start. I will stick blend up my uh, oatmeal and aloe vera powder and a little amount of uh, carolin clay that I have here and some so here we start just to Get it good blend. So you know it's fully dissolved in the soap. And here I got my live water and I'm using silk. Tussa silk and I will strain it. Like so. And I will stick blend it. Just a uh, multiplication. And I will add my cream. As I usually do. So, I will stick blend my clays too, so that I will add my essential oils to the, the last I do, because it can accelerate because of the lavender. I know the my shank don't do it, but I know the lavender can do it. So I don't take a chance. That is very important. That you know when you're soaping is when to put up your essential oils or fragrance. Some accelerate or some does, does not. And I will split my soap batch into four equal parts. I hope. The clays I have dissolved in some uh, water before. I started. I 
just very small very and the rest will go into the this one I think that will be just fine I will look and see if the will be too much I think I'm that is enough with that color we can add the rest in my lightest color to the sure this is my first time using clay as color so but I wanted to make a natural soap with just natural stuff. Because some want just natural, you know. Like so. I will just place it that away. <coughs> and I will clean up some mess here. Like so. And I will go with that. There and there, I think. And now for my blending part of my class. This is not easy. Because the container is It's small. Like so. And the water I'm um, I had in my place is some of my water in my recipe for my soap. So I don't have too much water in it. Like so. And this will be my last color, my green. And the scent is lovely, by the way. It's a top note of the my shang. And a little notes of the lavender with just a touch of lavender in it so just a lovely scent like so now I'm 
Then with blending my colors. Just stir them out some a little. And I hope I am able to do this right now. <clears throat> like so. I will take a little amount in my green. In all of them. I will stir it out by hand. It doesn't do anything if the if the If there will be a plopper soap, but that will time show. I just want to try to make it even with all my casing, the whole soap. I will start with my Phyllis Earth and take a layer of that like so on the bottom. I think I will take my red clay here. No. That will work for now. And my green. And my pink. And I will tap my model down again. And I will take my focus earth again. I think this will be a nice soap with lots of goodness in it for your skin. And the scent is just lovely, by the way. Like so. Now for my red part. I will save a little of that for my top. I just wipe some soap away from my mold here. And 
some more green. This stays slowly. It's better than I accept, expected. If you understand what I mean by that. No, a little amount of my pink. And I will tap it up. Like so. And now I will use my chopstick to get a pattern inside. A little pattern. I think that will work fine. I don't think I will do anything more. So I don't mix my colors so much. Like so. And I will tap my mold good down now. I'm cleaning up some of this. Bring some my my spoon. I think I will have a spoon swell on the top. And I will just make sure I have everything in now. Like so. Then I take my red one up. And I hope you enjoy the video here in Sweden it's quite cold today I just say in Celsius and uh, we have zero degrees Celsius here I'm not sure what it is in, in Fahrenheit, but you know, like so. I think it will become a lovely soap for the skin, this. I'm aiming for that. But I know all my soaps is gentle 
for the skin and lovely but you know I'll just use a paper to wipe my gloves down now like so and I will just do this to mix the top cover a little Now well, I'm soon done with all my colors. Just a little left in this on this spatula. This is a lovely consistent for me to do a with the spoon I can tell like so but before that I will tap it down a little bit like so And I will use my spoon. To get a nice top. On it. I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet just now. And that is all I will do. So, here you have my natural soap. It will be fun to cut it tomorrow. I will not have any glitter on the top on this so you know it's just a plain simple soap with with lots of clays and essential oils and things like this in so here you have it and I will 
get it when I can tomorrow. And that is all I have for now. If you have a question, comment, leave them below and I will answer you. And hit the like button if you like this video. Bye bye.